Today is a really significant day because North Wilkesboro Speedway is having a public open house. It's coming back and I don't think that they've had any type of public availability to go in there ever yet. I'm starting to get concerned that we'd never get to see the inside of it before it got all, you know, torn out and renovated and remodeled. Look at all those chickens. Look at all those chickens. Tyson truck, yeah, that's funny. Tyson, uh, Tyson Holly Farms was a big sponsor of North Wilkesboro. They had the race was called that. Here it is, the old sign. I pulled in here a few different times. The first time we ever came here was in the middle of the night. It's so weird. You drive in here and you go to drive by people's houses. It looks like they restored the Winston sign a little bit. I think they just like went over the Winston with white. Yeah, and they outlined. The, bird, the bird's outline stuff the is better. Yeah. So we got like free reign to just kind of wander anywhere we want to in here. Check out some of these show cars. Oh, that's a Cadillac engine. That's neat. Two favorite YouTubers. Thank you. <laughs> Holy crap, yes. We watch all your YouTube stuff. Thanks. Can I get a picture with you guys? Sure. Holy crap, this is so freaking awesome. <laughs> I do it. Hold on, come here. I need you to meet somebody. I really need you to meet somebody. Can I be on your YouTube channel? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, what do you want to say? Hey, what's up? Welcome to North Wilkesboro. <laughs> <laughs> this banking here is a lot more intense than it looks on uh, pictures. Can we all give us a bird in two? Yeah, absolutely. We got a couple of cars out there. And I can't believe we get to walk through here. This is... I can't believe you guys are freaking here. That's so freaking awesome. I don't know how we could possibly miss this. I'm glad I saw the thing on Facebook. I know. I'm glad you guys did too. Man, they got all these guys with the old cars have the cleanest freaking tow rigs. And they got the rooftop victory lane thing over there. This track is really unique that it's built on a hill. This is uphill. That's downhill. And it really wraps up right there. That's so crazy. For the Dale trailer. Yeah, we need one of these. This is like black, that'd be perfect. God, what a clean truck. Like, this has to be new paint. If it's not, whoever maintained this thing is the man. You were talking to somebody else. He said he's gonna tear down these three. Just those three? Just those three. And those ones are gonna get refurbished? Yeah. Okay, that's he cool. He said that these ones are too structurally compromised, which... Uh, yeah, I'd say that one's probably gone. Like the whole scooter up on that one. Yeah. That yeah, there used to be ones over there. I think those were the Tyson suites. Yeah, these these walls are useless. They're gonna have to <laughs> they're gonna have to probably redo the whole thing. Oh, Got a tree growing up through there. I'd like to know. I wish we could have walked around in here a year ago before they hogged everything out. This is not terrible shape. It's. You know, the surface doesn't look like it's any worse than Rockingham. Maybe better even. Rockingham had some potholes. This is really not bad. That vinyl must be from when they ran the late model stuff here in like 2010 or 2011. There's some really old pictures when Kevin Harvick tested a car here in 2009, I think, where that signage was, like the stickers weren't over that. It looks a lot better. And this is the famous sign right here. <laughs> I wonder what this plate's for. Probably for some cables or something going under there. Some timing equipment. Thank you. I pointed something out to Mitchell a second ago. If you look at the North Wilkesboro sign up there, I don't know if you can zoom this in later, but it's like a jumble of different fonts. Like if you look at the O in Wilkesboro and the O in North, like they're completely different fonts. It's just kind of funny. Or even the, the S in Wilkesboro and then the S in Speedway. Yeah. They're like, they are completely different. Because Wilkesboro has so many letters, they had to squish it all in to fit on yeah. the box. Like look how skinny the I is. It's just kind of funny. Yeah. They had to squish it all. All they had is that room between that AC unit and the corner. <laughs> and they're gonna fit Wolf's Speedway.
if you're into this stuff and you want to see every nook and cranny of this place inside all the buildings and everything, make sure you're subscribed because the next video we post is going to be a full tour of the facility with Ronnie, who knows basically everything about it. Um, no stone is unturned. It's pretty freaking cool. You're going to want to see it. in the chair is actually Dink Widenhouse who raced NASCAR Cup Series races back in the 50s like Daytona Beach Course with Ralph Earnhardt, Ned Jarrett, all those guys. He's just hanging out. He's like, I don't care. I've been sitting here for 32 years. I ain't moving. <laughs> he can back up. <laughs> Still toilets in there. Stay tuned for the full tour video and check out the Racing History Nerd Zone playlist on the channel if you like this kind of stuff. You could spend a lot of time there. Some really cool things. Just check it out. You're going to like it if you watch this video already.